Hi, I'm Cadence and I'm 11 years old. I just took my first vaccine dose last week and I'm waiting to take my second dose. In the meantime, I have some questions about COVID-19 and vaccination for Dr. Chan. What happens if someone like me gets COVID-19? Hi Cadence. Well, children like you, if they are infected with COVID-19, tend to have mild symptoms like fever and cough. However, there is a chance that you may also have more serious symptoms that may lead you to stay in hospital. Now, last year, 15,000 children in Singapore had COVID-19 infection. Wow, that's quite a large number. Yes, it is. So one in five of those children had to stay in hospital or stay in a COVID-19 facility, and some of them even needed intensive care. Also, after infection, children can have a different illness called MISC. So this stands for multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. And this is a different illness that affects different parts of your body, like the heart, and it can make you very sick. So since October last year, 15 children in Singapore have had MISC. If the disease is generally quite mild for children, then why do we need to get vaccinated? Well, vaccines can prevent you from getting very sick if you do get infected with COVID-19. And also vaccines can protect you from even getting infected in the first place. So if I'm not infected, then I will not spread the disease to my family and friends? That's correct. Vaccines will keep you safe when you're going out for group activities like going to school or attending CCA. So are vaccines safe for young children like myself? Yes, vaccines are safe. So in the original study in over 2,000 children, they found that the vaccine was more than 90% effective in preventing infection with symptoms. And none of these children had any serious side effects. In fact, since then, 8.7 million doses of the vaccine have been given to more than 4 million children in the United States. And of all the side effects reported, the large majority of these were minor and there were no safety concerns. So will the vaccine affect my growth? Well, currently, there is no evidence or any reason to think that the vaccine will affect your growth or your development. So Cadence, how was your vaccination experience? Well, I was quite nervous at first, but later I actually discovered that it was quite painless. Why is that the case? Well, the nurses would have used a smaller needle for you compared to what they do for adults. Also, children receive one third of the adult dose. So how did you feel after your jab? Well, I was actually quite okay. There was just a bit of soreness in my arm, but it went away quite quickly. Yeah, so that's usually the case. The most common side effects are ache, pain or swelling in your arm, but it's generally quite okay. There are some children, like adults, who will have tiredness, muscle ache, headaches or fever for one or two days, but it's usually quite mild and then it goes away completely. In fact, I was able to continue with my normal activities like studying or doing my art the next day. Okay, that's great. So I mean, most children are able to go back to doing their usual activities after vaccination. And of course, it helps if you've had sufficient rest and you've drunk lots of water to stay well hydrated. You should try to avoid tiring exercise like jogging or swimming for at least two weeks. Thanks, Dr. Chan. I learned a lot today. I can't wait to get my second dose and protect myself and my loved ones from the virus. If you would like to see my vaccination journey, visit the link below.